Why hello, you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another BTS reaction video and this one, this one is a big one. It is a big one for so many reasons. The first reason being today is the one and only, the beautiful, the man with the golden kiss. If you don't know what I mean by that, every single time Jin blows a kiss, I swear 10 people just faint. Like every single time this man just does, the, his face, everything about it, the heart, everything. He's just the best. I love him. I love him. It's my, it's my favorite face. I love seeing him make it. But man, today is his birthday. It is his birthday. So a huge happy birthday to Jin. Massive, massive happy birthday. And as we are keeping the tradition on every single BTS member's birthday, we release a video reacting to one of their solo songs. And today, the number one most requested easily from all of you is this one right here, Moon. And also, another reason today is so important. Two days ago, we had RM's new album coming out. And I don't know the official date, but I believe it is this month. It is the month of December. Jin will be enlisting in the military and I know so many people are upset about that especially considering what is going on at the moment in Korea it's even more worrying because it's not a time of peace which just makes this so terrifying for so many people I don't even know what to say about it every time I think about it it's absolutely gut-wrenching devastating I understand they have to do it and of course they have my full support 100% and I think I speak for all of you watching this right now um and hopefully I'm not being presumptuous in saying this when I say we will all be here <laughs> waiting eagerly, eagerly excited with big smiles and purple hearts for BTS's comeback in 2025. But yes, Jin will be enlisting it is terrifyingly sad and I am immensely proud at our boys for, for doing it. So it's a huge thing to do and I'm immensely proud of them. But how about I stop talking and we jump into my first time ever ever reaction to BTS's Jin Moon. The amount of passion this man performs and puts into his songs is just incredible to watch. It it just truly is. I, I feel like he's so expressive. It's unbelievable. Every time he sings, even behind the stage, even when he's talking to people in interviews or anything like that, He's so expressive. He really is. And he's just he's just so damn, like, I, I can't think of a better word than fascinating to watch. Like, I just watch him in awe every single time when he's singing, when he's talking, everything. He's just, like, mesmerizing, I think is the right word. And I've said this before. Jin, in my opinion, has one of the best vocal ranges I've heard in K-pop. From his lower notes to his higher notes, it's incredible. apologize as well in advance because the video might be blurred um i'm having a lot of trouble at the moment with live uh, bts reactions when i react to live performances i don't know why but 90 percent of them are getting blocked worldwide uh if that does happen then i just upload them blurred and the full unblurred reactions always get uploaded to patreon um the patreon's only a dollar i'll never change the price you get access to everything link is in the description if it is blurred and you don't want to watch the blurred reaction then the unblurred one's there for you Don't 
Two was that the... moon literally made? I wish the camera would zoom out a little bit. Was that moon literally made for um for this song, Moon? That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Man, I love this man. <laughs> I love this man. This is why it's pretty much impossible to pick a bias from BTS. This is why whenever I talk to anyone, they're like, I'm OT7. I'm like, I understand. <laughs> I understand. It's how many of you watching this have a bias, right? And I'm just curious, how many of you who have a bias, how many times have you changed your bias? <laughs> have you had one from day one and stuck to it? Or have you changed it like four or five times? Uh, because if you have done... I've got news for you. You're OT7. <laughs> That's what that is. Ah, it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> This stage is amazing. Also, is there why is there no audience? What's this? Was this like a uh, like an online performance or something? This stage setup is incredible just for this one song. It's amazing to watch. I'm, I'm, I must admit, guys, I'm really struggling not to like have a little bit of a breakdown in this one because I keep imagining the fact that this man isn't going to be here for the next couple of years, and it keeps breaking my heart. <laughs> just wish them the best I just wish them the best I hope they're safe I hope everyone who's in in Korea at the moment and is enlisted is safe I hope they come home safe and happy and unchanged and excited oh, man. it's hard not to think about and be sad because I'm so new you know, I, I don't know at what point you stopped becoming Baby Army. I think it was five months ago I said I, I'm part of Army. So, what, half a year? I don't know at what point it stops like I stopped saying that, but I still feel like I am, you know? Maybe it's because all my reactions are on YouTube or Twitch that um, it's taken me a bit longer because I can't do much behind-the-scenes stuff because I want you guys to experience my full, genuine journey. There's so many reaction channels who will like listen to one song and then go buy an album listen to the whole album and then record another reaction and at that point you've already completely changed your opinion of this group or this band behind the scenes so when you record your second video it's a completely different reaction so that's why i keep everything on youtube i don't do any behind the camera research or or listening or anything i keep it all on youtube any songs i've heard before i then download i'm absolutely loving my bts playlist at the moment i must admit not today has been on repeat constantly for like last few weeks i don't know what it is about that song but i just love listening to it but yeah every time 
I react to anything BTS now. I just have that image in my head and just know that like they're all enlisting and Jin is just the first one and I don't know I don't know if the dates have been announced or what the plan is for everyone, but you know, it sucks. And part of me, most of me, is so proud of them. Because it is such an amazing thing for a person to do, such a selfless thing for a person to do. It terrifies me. The idea of me doing it, you know, I have a family and the idea of me leaving them and being at risk of not coming back to them scares me. So the idea that BTS are now going to do that, I, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. These amazing men, amazing human beings to be able to do something like this and, to, and for them to, to come up with the decision on their own to do it with the government doing what they did and then, you know, trying to, like, get around it. And then when BTS finally said, no, we're not going to get around it. We're going to enlist ourselves. We're done with all of this. We should do it. We're going to do it. And making the, and taking the decision out of everyone else's hands and just making it themselves. I was so proud of them for doing that. And then, obviously, the government said, well, you can still perform and be in the military. And they were like, well, no, because you're just going to be... We're just going to be doing two times as much work. Um, I'm just so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. <clears throat> I'm also so damn sad, man. Like I said, I feel like I'm baby army and I feel like I was just getting into all of this. And the cool thing for me is there's so much content for me to react to. We're going to do an entire reaction to run BTS. There's so much for me to still explore that I haven't seen because I'm still new and there's still so many songs. So I've got so much to explore. But I was enjoying checking out their new stuff and I was enjoying seeing them progress even now. And I'm sad for me and all of you and BTS that we don't get to see that for a few years. But in the meantime, it seems like there's no shortage of content from solo stuff to funny videos to montages to run BTS episodes to everything. It feels like BTS are going to make it seem like they never went anywhere at all. And I love them for that. Because the one thing about BTS is whenever they do anything in life, it feels like this is something I love and don't like about them. But it feels like they put ARMY first. Always, in every decision, they want to make sure ARMY is safe and happy first. And I love that so much. For a group to have so much love for their fan base is incredible. But I also just wish they would love themselves enough to take a break and to step back and to think about themselves. I feel like BTS are constantly saying you need to love yourself. And it's a message that they say to their fans all the time. And they want to make sure their fans and ARMY loves themselves. I feel like BTS need to do that a bit more too and understand that it's okay to take a day off and relax and we're not going anywhere. They like, ever. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this song. A massive happy birthday to the beautiful Jin. Ah <sighs> oh, man, I'm feeling really emotional. I feel like I've held it together quite all right in this video. <laughs> I've, done, I've done all right. Whew. I've done all right. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video before I start crying. Have a wonderful day. As always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.